It's a bad move. Um, it's and it's it's embarrassing, quite frankly. And and I and I, I get the Dolphins; they were in a bind. Uh, Tannehill goes down with the uh, the knee injury. The severity it seems to be as more news trickles out. There's a great chance that he's probably going to be done for the entire season. So I get it, but. Jay Cutler signed with us, signed with the, the Fox. He was going to do the broadcast. This is what Jay Cutler said on May 5th, Skip, mm -hmm. a little over three months ago. He said, I don't know if retirement is the right word. I don't feel that anyone ever really retires from the NFL. You're either forced to leave or you lose the desire to do what's required to keep going. I'm between those two situations. So I'm just trying to figure, did Jay Cutler call all 32 teams and say, if somebody goes down, I'm willing to come out of retirement. Probably not. Here's a guy, Skip. He says, I don't know if, I'm, if I want to put in what's required. Now, Colin Kaepernick needs to tell people he wants to play quarterback in the National Football League. I wonder if Jay Cutler called the Miami Dolphins and says, I want to play. And then this, this narrative about Cap says, okay, well, he wants too much money. It's amazing how the Miami Dolphins found $10 million for a guy, a retired guy, not a guy mm -hmm. that last threw a pass in January, a retired guy. Yeah, no, no, we don't, we don't, we don't want you. Uh, what about this thing, Skip? You know, well, you know what, he, Callen, he he doesn't want to be a backup. He wants to start. You paying Jay Cutler $10 million to be a backup, or are you bringing him in to start? Definitely to start. But here's what's the most egregious part of it, Skip. They lump Colin Kaepernick, a guy that last threw a pass in January of 2017. They said they were also interested in Tim Tebow. The last time Tim Tebow threw a pass was December 17th, 2012. Mm -hmm. Over four years. That, that's shameful in and of itself, but go ahead. Skip, what did he tell you when you ask him if there's a chance somebody gets down? He says, that chapter of my life is closed. He told you he was done with football. Mm -hmm. And he felt like he had been blackballed for reasons other than his ability to play football, but just keep going. Kyle Lorton, mm -hmm. last played in 2015. 2014, excuse me. Kyle Lorton said he was done. Mm -hmm. Kyle Lorton said he was retiring from the National Football League. So he told you he wasn't, mm -hmm. but somehow what? You reached out, mm -hmm. kicked the tires, and see if he might be a little interested. All the things that you said Colin Cap should be doing, teams are going above and beyond to do with other guys. So basically what they're telling you, Colin Kaepernick, is we need a quarterback, just not you. Skip, everybody keeps talking about old Jay Cutler, and I want to stop this narrative right here, and I'm going to stop it right now, and don't ever, I don't want to hear it again. Man, he's so talented. Jay Cutler has as much arm talent, and oh, he still can run. The he's 34 years of age. He is what he is. He's a turnover, injury-prone, underachieving quarterback. In 11 years, he's gone to the playoff one time. That's about 9%, a little over 9%, Skip. Mm -hmm. He's won one playoff game. Oh, he had his best season with Adam Gaze. The Chicago Bears with 23 in scoring and 23 in passing. Mm -hmm. and, the t uh, and the great season, they were 6-10. and 10. Jay Cutler started 15 games, so they were 6-9 and nine with him. They lost the last game. Mm-hmm. So how good were they, Skip? So how good is he? Now, well, you know, but Jay knows the offense and Colin Kaepernick really doesn't fit. Skip, in 2011, when the Broncos went on that magical run, can you tell, to the, can you tell the people at home, who's the quarterback coach? Adam Gase. Oh, my goodness. You mean to tell me Adam Gase worked with a guy that ran better than he threw the ball, but he could throw the, throw the ball somewhat from the pocket? Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me Adam Gase actually... He, he wasn't the coordinator, but he worked you, with him. He's the quarterback's coach. Quarterback coach yeah. mm -hmm. who worked with the quarterback on a mm -hmm. daily basis, mm -hmm. who watched film with the quarterback on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Hence why he was interested in just checking out Tim Tebow this time. You're going to yeah. check out a guy mm -hmm. that last threw a ball on December 17th, 2012. Mm -hmm. What about the guy that last threw a ball in January of 2017? That's what's so embarrassing about it, Skip. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, Skip, I don't even know what to say. And I've said it from day, from day one. This was never, ever 
about Callen, Colin Kaepernick's ability to play in the National Football League. We knew, even you knew it was something. And the thing about it, the skip that I love most about you, you weren't afraid to say it. Everybody else always says his ability. It has nothing to do with the protest. Oh, if he could play, really? You're going to ask guys that's been in retirement? Not only has Tim Tebow not thrown a pass in four years, Skip the dude's playing minor league baseball. And playing and very man, well, and by the way. I hate to admit it, and he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, thank he's you. He's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> thank you. He ain't doing great. He ain't having no, no. Uh, Aaron Judge type season, but he's doing okay. finally admit that, Shannon. He's doing okay. <laughs> Skip. Right now, Aaron Judge isn't having an Aaron Judge come out. Let me have 35. Just for the record. He's got 35 ahead. homers. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be, uh, huh. Skip, in 11 years, Jay Cutler has only directed <laughs> one top 15 scoring offense mm -hmm. in 11 years. So I'm going back to Denver with Mike Shanahan. Mm -hmm. I'm going with when he had Tressman and all these other, all these other coordinators. One time, even with Adam Gase, he didn't have a mm -hmm. top 15 offense. Scoring or passing, but now he's the he's the answer. A guy that's not a leader, a guy that's injury prone, a guy that's turnover prone, yep. and he's a better fit than Colin Kaepernick because not because of ability, but you know what the cause is. Skip, this is embarrassing. I'm with you on how you see what's happened to Colin Kaepernick. But in this case, just in this case, mm -hmm. I do think Jay Cutler is a little better fit than Colin Kaepernick is with Adam Gaze, strictly because of their history together. Adam Gaze believes in Jay Cutler. And just remember, when it looked like Jay Cutler was on the outside looking in, when it looked like nobody wanted Jay Cutler, when it certainly appeared that Miami had no place for Jay Cutler, mm -hmm. Adam Gaze was asked at the owners' meetings back on March 28th, as the quotes from March 27th, mm -hmm. about Jay Cutler. And these are his remarks about Cutler. And I've never heard any coach say these things about Jay Cutler. And they should resonate as we speak right now. My experience with Jay Cutler was very good. I don't get all the hatred towards him, said Adam Gaze. I see a guy that worked hard and did everything he could to help his team win. He sacrificed his body. To me, he was an athletic quarterback that can throw the ball. When you got to third down, you could call the worst play possible, and he would get the conversion. And again, not that they shocked the world in 2015, but under Adam Gaze, Jay Cutler finally looked like he grew up a little bit. He got the bad Brett Favre out of him, the rambling, gambling, I'm going to try any kind of throw possible kind of quarterback who threw way too many interceptions. And that year, that 2015 year, he had his career low in interceptions, his career high in percentage completions, mm -hmm. and his career best in quarterback rating, all in 2015. <laughs>